Dear colleagues, warm greetings from Brussels, the symbolic capital of Europe. I am Noel Salazar, the current president of EASA, the European Association of Social Anthropologists. 2014 is a year in which anthropology in both Japan and Europe has much to celebrate. Let me first congratulate the Japanese Society of Cultural Anthropology with its 50th anniversary. While JASCA came about in 1964, a period marking the end of the post-World War II reconstruction in Japan, IASA is 25 years younger. It was founded in 1989, the year of the fall of the Berlin Wall, symbolically marking the end of the Cold War. In addition, the Japan Anthropology Workshop is celebrating 30 years of existence. JAWS originated in Europe in the mid-1980s, when the cultural and non-economic ties between Europe and Japan grew significantly. I have been asked to offer a brief reflection on the theme of JASCA's anniversary conference entitled The Future With and Of Anthropologies. Let me start with the future of anthropologies, which points to the discipline's incredible diversity. Most of us are familiar with anthropology's many subdisciplines and thematic coverage. More recent is the attention to the various local traditions, which we have come to know as world anthropologies. We need to treasure the multiplicity of interests and approaches, but this should not blind us to the fact that anthropology across the globe is marked by severe inequalities and hegemonic power structures. While recognizing difference, it is equally important to keep in mind what it is that binds us as anthropologists. Which common language do we speak, if any? And I am not only referring here to the ever-present challenges of linguistic translation and interpretation, but also to our shared quest to understand humankind, which entails an ongoing exchange of scholarly reflection and joint action. The latter, of course, is very much related to the future with anthropologies. I don't need to convince colleagues in either Japan or Europe that the world is currently facing serious environmental, economic and societal challenges. Together we have the responsibility of ensuring that the wealth of anthropological knowledge that we are gathering and developing across the globe is employed wisely to address these challenges, making anthropology more relevant and engaged with the world in which we teach and conduct research will only make the discipline stronger. From the genealogies of IASA and JASCA, we know how moments of crisis are the perfect time to foment and realize novel ideas and initiatives. There is only one future to be selected from a multitude of alternatives. I hope that this JASCA anniversary conference illuminates us all